What's up guys? So it's been a while since we've done a video on the STI, but I got some interior upgrades coming. So we're gonna show you guys kind of the paint process of some of the stuff that I'm gonna do and then adding in the new pieces that I've gotten. So the plan is, I don't know if you have, guys have ever seen the S models from Japan, but this whole center console trim is a flat black color. So I'm gonna be removing all of this center trim as well as the two side vents that are silver and all that stuff is going to be flat black. So these bolts that are holding the shifter trim in, they're just Allen bolts. Um, they're a size 3, so those will be easy to get out. And then the rest of this, I've got some trim remover pieces that I picked up from Harbor Freight. So we'll see how those work to get the rest of the pieces out. Just to show you guys, there are some screws holding in the HVAC, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a screw. This piece, pretty much on the bottom here, they're already out. I just got to pull that, and that'll be it. So here are all of our pieces that we're going to be painting. Bit of a learning curve um, getting some of this stuff out. I didn't look up any kind of DIY or anything, I kind of just did it and tried to see what needed to be done really to take everything out. Uh, most of it was pretty simple. If I had a suggestion for anyone else that wants to do this in the future, Definitely start with this middle piece inside the car first. Um, pops out pretty simple. There's no screws or anything holding it in place. Uh, the HVAC behind it does have screws that are holding it in place. It's just four Phillips head that come out. So that was pretty simple to get that piece apart. Then this piece up here has three screws underneath it that are holding it on. And then the hazard button which goes in the middle here has a little piece that you bend down and it comes through the front and then the two vents pop out super easy. Um, this piece is probably the trickiest of the bunch. Uh, the HVAC controls and the control panel that's behind it has some screws that you can take out. That seemed to be the simplest way for me to do it to get everything out. Um, this was super easy. Once the middle piece was out uh, this piece pretty much just slid out. There's a couple connectors for the lighter in the back. One just pulls right out, the other one's a little light that just twists out. So that was pretty simple. And then once that's out, this thing just comes right out. Super easy. And then the vents were just using the trim tool and just popping those out. So for the most part, taking everything apart was pretty simple. So now we'll get to the paint process and start on that clean everything up first and then start laying down some paint. So what I have for this project, uh, nothing crazy. I have some 400 grit sandpaper to start off with before I lay down some first base coat. Then 800 right before I start laying down the final color coats just to scuff it up a little bit. Some 
alcohol to clean everything up with. And then the paints that I went with are Krylon. They're plastic paints. Paints, sorry. Uh, this one is a paint and primer in one, as you guys can see. But I plan on doing a light coat first, and then maybe a coat over that, and then scuffing it with the 800 pad, and then probably doing like two more coats of color on top of it. And then also went with Krylon's clear coat. Um, it's a flat clear, so nothing glossy on top of it. Same with this, it's just a flat black. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. So we got everything sanded with the 400 grit, everything's cleaned up with the alcohol, scuffed up, ready for its first couple coats. So let's lay down some paint. Okay so I didn't um, record the second thin coat that I put down. but. This is right now with two small thin coats on it. Uh, nothing crazy. The coverage isn't as good as I want it to be right now. But these were more of kind of just base coats before I really laid down like the full color coat. Um, since this is like a paint and primer in one, I don't know how great it is as like a normal primer would be. But it seems to be coming out pretty decent. Uh, I'm going to let these dry for a bit probably about 15 20 minutes or so and then I'll use the 800 scuffing pad that I have here to kind of help the color coats adhere better to the surface and stuff So it's the next day now, um, just looking at all the pieces right now, it looks like for full coverage we're probably going to have to get at least one more coat if not two coats on, uh, just to make everything look pretty uniform. Um, there's a couple things that have some spots that I'd like to really go over better. Um, but for the most part everything looks pretty good. I'm happy with the color. Uh, now it's just trying to get a couple more coats of color on just to make sure everything is covered as much as possible. And then we're gonna probably wait like an hour or so after I get the last couple of coats on and work on the clear coat. All right, so just a quick update. These four pieces, um, they all came out pretty good. So I laid down two coats of clear on them, so these are going to leave overnight. 
Uh, these other pieces here, there's some bubbling here. Um, the spray paint was running out and seemed to be dripping a little bit. So I fixed, tried to fix that as best as I could. I was able to fix this piece with the little imperfection that it had. And the shifter trim piece had a couple little spots that I was able to go over. Um, I'm going to try and fix this radio bezel as much as I can with what I got. I don't have much spray paint left, so I might just go over a light coat on everything for that. And then just lay down clear on the rest of the pieces and that'll be that. But for the most part, I'm happy with how most of it came out. I will show you a couple of the pieces that I do have in my hand right now that'll be going on, just kind of dress up pieces for the interior. Um, still waiting on the JDM hazard button to come in. Last thing is just, uh, I got some Subtle Solutions um, black overlays for the HVAC button since they're silver also. I'll finish these up and then I'll show you guys uh, a couple of little goodies that I have from my buddy Chris over at uh, WC Lathworks. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, um, I posted up his alternator bracket uh, alternator cover that he made for me. It's uh, fully made out of titanium. Um, I was going to run just a normal parent alternator cover, but his product came up and uh, I really like the design of it. And he's local, so it was nice I got to be able to go up and pick up the part. He kind of showed me everything that went with it, was able to install it there. Everything came out really great. Um, he also torched it bronze, which is awesome. Uh, really goes with kind of the rest of the theme of the car I'm going for. So I'll show you the couple interior pieces that he provided me with. Um, if you guys want, you can go check him out on Instagram or just get in contact with me and I'll send you over his info. Uh, in the future, he'll probably be making a shift knob as well as the reverse lockout ring for me. Um, and then I just got to kind of figure out what I want to do with the STI bezel. I might do like a gloss black just to contrast the flat black but not 100% sure yet, so we'll see what happens with that. But let me get back to painting this, and then I'll update you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the couple pieces that Chris at WC Lathworks made for me. So the HVAC rings are also silver in the car. So I wanted to do something different. Um, I like the red and bronze kind of contrast. Um, so here are the HVAC rings. You can see they got a really, really nice bronze color on them, which shows a lot in the sun. Um, these little cutouts are for the lights to come through, which is cool. And then also they're pretty simple to put on. They're just 3M adhesive around the back and you just basically just slide them into place. So got three of those. Um, really stoked on those. They came out really awesome. Uh, Chris does great work with basically everything that he does. I definitely highly recommend if you haven't already checked out any of his stuff. Um, you definitely should. He's got a lot of products for Subarus. Um, I'm trying to get him to expand also into some other stuff. Um, but he also does make a lot of things for other cars as well. And does a lot of shift knobs and other cool stuff like that. Um, and then this piece is another cool little piece that he made. Um, so this is actually a little one by one square. I get a nice close up of that. Um, this is just basically a little shift pattern that I haven't figured out exactly where on the console yet I'm gonna put it, but again, nice bronze color, which really shows off in the sun. And he also engraved the six speed shift pattern and the little STI logo underneath it, which I think is super awesome. So, okay, so everything's done. Got the last few pieces done. Happy with the way this piece came out. Happy with the way the shifter bezel came out. The only slight imperfection that I'm a little annoyed with. Um, just here on the radio bezel piece, if you guys can see. But just this little imperfection here and these little dirt spots that unfortunately got underneath. Um, but that's really the only piece that I'm not too happy about. Uh, other than that, everything else came out pretty good. Um, clear coats on everything. Alright, so we're back. Another day. 
Um, got everything reassembled. It looks pretty good. And also got the Subtle Solutions overlays in. So those will just be going right over the silver part here on the front half. And then I'll also be putting on the WC Lathworks HVAC rings today. And then also got the vents reassembled and got in the brand new OEM JDM hazard button. Looks a lot better than the silver that was there before. And just goes better with what the look that I was going for. So, gonna get everything reassembled and then give you some, you guys, some final shots of what everything looks like all put back together. So, here's our finished product. There's the shifter bezel. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with the STI bezel that goes around the uh, shift boot yet. If I'm gonna paint that or probably just leave it for now until I figure out exactly what I want to do or if you guys have any suggestions on what you think I should do with it here is the radial bezel piece with the subtle solutions overlays as well as the lathworks bronze HVAC rings which look really really good and actually really contrast the flat black very well and then finally the vent piece with the new red JDM hazard button and then your side vents here but that's pretty much the finished product with everything overall I mean it, everything with this was pretty simple um, I'll copy a link for both the overlays and the HVAC rings for you guys that are interested.